What is going on all my fellow nerds and geeks? So I have got an unboxing. Um, <clears throat> there is a little bit of damage on this box. Uh, there has been some very damaged pops coming out of these boxes. So I'm hoping that mine is good. So this is the final thing from my San Diego Comic Con haul. This is actually the Toy Tokyo bundle, which this was a complete shock and surprise that they actually didn't sell out in seconds and they put them up early. I was able to get it and they, I mean, they sat there for a little while before they sold out. Um, it did take a little bit to ship them, but I mean, I was totally okay with it. So basically you get four pops. You get, uh, one of them is going to be one of three. And you guys know me on this channel, I want the glow in the dark version. And so I'm hoping that these boxes are nice and I get the glow in the dark. But actually, to be honest, a buddy of mine already got his box. He got his on Friday and he actually got the glow in the dark and he said that he doesn't even want it. So I'm actually kind of hoping I get one of the chrome versions because I'll take his glow in the dark with the chrome. So let's see what we got from Toy Tokyo. <laughs> so basically, we will start with, um, I'll kind of go least favorite to favorite of what's in the in here. So, um, little bit of damage, not too bad. It actually looks pretty good. I mean, it's, it's kind of bowing a little bit, but nothing that couldn't be fixed pretty easily. Um, there is a couple dings up top. So this is the Kato from Green Hornet. Uh, you could, uh, they have different versions. So this version of the Green Hornet is the specialty series, I want to say. But I never got into it. Um, I wasn't a big Green Hornet fan. I do know that Bruce Lee was the original Kato. And I don't know if they changed who it was. So um, just the fact that this is like the... Bruce Lee was Kato. That's kind of cool. It goes with my Bruce Lee collection. So that is pretty awesome. So then moving right along, let's look at this one. Box for this looks pretty much mint. Um, and I don't collect anything in this. I just thought this glow looked amazing. So um, I was like, you know what? It's part of the bundle. I'm cool with it. It is the, uh, it's not even Ultraman. It's, oh yeah, Ultraman. Yeah, so it is the glow in the dark Ultraman. So it'll just look nice in my uh, glow collection. Um, so these are all the different characters that are part of the Ultraman set. I know nothing about Ultraman. I mean, I know of him, but that is it. I don't know if you guys can hear the bird in the background. My wife got a new bird and he's going nuts downstairs. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. So if you hear it, I apologize. If you don't hear it, good, because it's it's loud. So, um, but yes, I will put the glow. I haven't looked at the glow on any of these up close personally myself, but you can definitely see this has got like, it's actually glow material. So this is probably gonna glow pretty good. So there is that. And then this one, um, so it looks like, again, the box is in really good shape. So I must have got lucky with my boxes here because there's a lot of bad ones coming out. And this one was one that I was really like, <laughs> um, I just saw it and because of my other collection, I was like, this is gonna go perfect with that collection. And then I was like, you know what? They actually announced they were gonna do a different color variant of this. And the only difference would be the hat would be blue. And so I was like, you know what, if I can't get the Tokyo one, I'll get that one. But now I guess I'm gonna have both because this is the Peter Pez Clown. So uh, yeah, it's just a goofy looking clown. You know what, I just realized I haven't taken any of these out yet. So I'll take this one out um, and then I'll take the Ultraman out. So I gotta take him out anyways to take the glow in the dark pictures. So this is a pretty hefty pop, but I love that he's actually holding a Pez of himself in his hand. So you have got Peter Pez, the clown. He's got a little Pez of himself in his hand. So there we go with Peter Pez. So, uh-oh. 
Peter Pez has got a broken piece inside. So that happens sometimes with the pops, but to be honest, this isn't gonna come out of the box, so I'm not super worried about it. So then on to the main one that I wanted. Let's hope that this box is minty too, like all the rest, there was only damage. Oh, there's a little bit of stuff, but nothing major. It actually looks pretty good. Um, we do have some denting on the back though. Uh, so this is the Glow in the Dark Rat Fink. So when I saw this, I was kind of on the fence. I've always, growing up with uh, people in my life that were big into cars and stuff like that, you'd always see the rat rods and that kind of stuff. And I was never big into them, but I always remember seeing this character around. And so this is the Rat Fink. There was uh, three versions of him you could have gotten. It was the glow in the dark, and then there was a black chrome and a green chrome. And I was definitely more wanting the, uh, the, oh, and there's Odin. I was more wanting the glow in the dark version of him, but I was definitely okay with getting the other ones after I found that my friend had gotten a glow in the dark. So, uh, let's see what this guy looks like out of box. So I did notice something on some of the pictures that were posted and it looks like it is on mine also. Um, so here we got an up close shot of the rat fink and they did a really, really good job on this guy. So I can tell already, it looks like he's kind of glowing already. Um, so if you look really close at under his eye, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it very well. Um, Kinda, there's like glue underneath, and I've seen it on multiple of them, so I think it just needs to be cleaned out a little bit. So it looks like they actually glued these eyes in, but a lot of them got a extra glue on the bottom. So it's not a big deal, but it does kind of stink that that's on there, and it's kind of noticeable, but other than that, this character looks awesome. So I haven't yet seen the glow, so you guys are gonna see it before me, but I will go take a picture of it and look at it. I'm assuming it's probably gonna look pretty cool. The pictures I've seen of people that have them in the box, it definitely looked awesome. So, I got all that stuff, and then I have one bonus surprise. Uh, a buddy of mine, wait a minute. That is odd. Um, I just noticed that I sat down. So you see his feet there. He's got like the five toes, and on this one, he's got like one jacked up toe. And it looks like it's part of the mold, so it's actually supposed to be like that. I think. I don't know, maybe it's not supposed to be like that. It's weird looking, whatever it is. So, um, he just got a jacked up toe, I guess. So, my buddy was actually at Fun Days, and he messaged me, he said he got me something. Um, I did a little bit of, of work for him, or I, you know, helped him out his, and so on some stuff, and so uh, he brought this back for me. And I was super, super happy when I saw it. There is a little bit of box damage, but he, I, I don't really care because it was a free gift. And um, the fact that I have it is awesome. But he was telling me that because of the way the boxes were packed at Fun Days, a lot of the pops had damage. So, but just the fact that I have this is amazing. And this is the uh, Spastic Plastic. It is the Glow in the Dark 400 variant. And it's Shaka Raka, Shaka Raka, is that what it is? Shaka Raka. Sorry, just jumping in right here real quick because I forgot to mention something. The Spastic Plastic or Fantastic Plastic uh, Shaka Raka, the box itself actually glows as well. So I will add this in there right in the middle of my cut real quick because I forgot to mention that. So I'll have the pictures of this thing and the pictures of the pop. So let's get back to me cutting in, yeah, get back to them. Uh, spastic plastic, um, well, fantastic plastic, but it still says spastic plastic on there. Um, and this is a glow in the dark variant, the limited 400 piece. Um, so I'm going to pull it out so we can take a look at it up close. And like I said, I wanna take some pictures of it. The glow in the dark. Actually, I've had this for a couple days and I have not had time to look at the glow in the dark on it. So, um, yet again, you'll probably see it before I'm even seeing it, but I'm pretty sure it glows really good because I did kind of do a little bit of glow, um, but it was during the day, so I couldn't really tell very well. But here we go outside of the box. So 
Thank you very much, Rob, and your two awesome kids, Grant and Audrey, for bringing this back from San Diego for me. It is really cool, and I am super, super happy to have it. Um, I think they did a great job on the sculpt with this. So, and the color is really cool looking. So he's gonna look really cool with the uh, spastic plastic set, but he may end up in the glow case. I don't know, probably. I, I need to change out some of these glows because I've got some really cool glows lately that I'm gonna want to put in there, like the rat fink and, and that one there. So that is it for this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Nerdsmithing. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome, people.